So we thought it would be good just to update you all on what we're doing. We know we've put out um, quite a few videos. Well, Brandon's um, put out some <laughs> quite a few videos and um, about some of the places that we've gone. But we kind of want to do an update on what we're going to be doing for the next several weeks. But also with this video, we wanted to just give you an update mm -hmm. too on just how things are going. Maybe there, you've had some questions. I wonder how they're really doing. I wonder how, you know, all the videos look like fun, right? Hey, we're the Morses and we're going mobile. We're moving out of this house in the burbs and we're going to start taking the back roads in our new RV. Life is a little interesting packing all six of us inside here, but we are ready for the challenge. It's been quite the ride. You know, when we started this out, we had this whole plan that we're gonna travel the country Mm -hmm. And Amber's going to take, take a travel nursing job somewhere along the way. We had no idea what that would look like and uh, where that would be, but geez, it, time went by fast. So I ended up taking a 13 week position in Florida. And you get to be snowbirds for 13 weeks. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that was the hope and the goal of trying to get a position in Florida. And I honestly was a little bit worried because um, there was not a whole lot open of of all the things that checked off um, all the boxes for me, but then a position did open for labor and delivery and mother baby, which is my specialty. And I ended up being submitted for it and they offered me the job. And so here we are. In Holiday, Florida, um, we're just south of uh, Newport Ritchie and Port Ritchie, and we're just north of Clearwater and Tampa Bay area, mm -hmm. Tampa. And so we thought it'd be fun just with in this video just to kind of take you with us as we go out and kind of just explore what's around us ready to go do that i'm ready for that let's go where's our first stop brandon our first stop is going to be tarpon springs we're going to the sponge docks it's kind of a famous spot um yeah. in this area because there's a ton of greek heritage greek history there kids what do you think <laughs> jayden's just excited to get out and do something and Hudson's just excited that we're going to be going to Chick-fil-A for lunch because our kids haven't had Chick-fil-A since we left Idaho. Jaden, what do you call that? It's such a tragedy. It's such a tragedy. And what mommy's going to go to work. Hey, <laughs> mommy's going to go to work and daddy's going to babysit, I mean, take care of our four but, kids. And homeschool. And He's going to try. And homeschool, right? Dad, daddy. Yeah, buddy. You can babysit us. I'll babysit you. I don't think people like to call it babysitting when it's your own kids. But sometimes dads want the touch this mic. Touch it. They're not really they're not wet. I was touching That's crazy that comes from the ocean. Is it for the ocean? Yeah, they come from the ocean. store. Dad, this is a nice Dad. specimen of a man. Oh. The Greeks have it going And a woman. And a woman. <laughs> They're very proud of themselves. They're very proud of themselves. <laughs> right. Jades, what do you think about this Greek heritage all up in here? Um, I think they are like obsessed with sponges. It's like everywhere. Look, every single store there's some. Sponges. It's all about the sponges. Yeah, I love about those sponges. <laughs> <laughs> We are about to experience some Greek flavor. Kids can't hardly wait. Hudson is a sugar addict. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Me too. One, two, three, open. Open. Oh, oh Jaden's the first grabber. Should I eat it? Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go. Oh, Cohen's going for it. <laughs> go, buddy. Britton, how is it? Pretty good. Uh, 
<laughs> Amber, what'd you get? Oh. Rice pudding. <laughs> oh, Rice I made that for spin class. <laughs> Explain it. What's it like? It's like pie crust with sugar and then custard with berries on top. Mm. I can't say that Greek pastries are my favorite. I'm sorry to all my Greek people out there. Tracy Easley, if you're watching this, we love you. We're sorry, but uh, I don't know. There's just a way. No. They just weren't that great. You, you're, you're up for just a good American donut. Yeah, right? I just need a donut with a good chunk of maple on it, you know. And What do you guys think? Cohen, did you like yours? I like mine. I like mine, but mine is little have chocolate on it. Yeah, Jaden. I feel what? like I could have bought mine at like Fred Meyer, to be honest. Oh, sorry, Tyrepin Springs. <laughs> If you're ever in the Tampa area, I'd highly recommend going to check out the sponge docks at Tarpon Springs. So much history, just such culture, great vibe. After we were done, we went and got Chick-fil-A for the kids as promised, and we ended up having a nice windy lunch at the park. Then we went to Clearwater Beach. We wanted to see what that was all about. It's a really popular beach in the area, and if you're lucky like me and you go there, you may find a beautiful redhead like I did. And that's how you score points with your wife on YouTube. The kids needed to get the wiggles out, so we stopped at the park on our way over to check out the marina. We're out of the, the uh, marina now here in Clearwater, Florida. Yeah. We spotted a floating. We, we spotted a floating tiki. Look at that thing. You Isn't that eat. funny? That's so hilarious. <laughs> wave to him, guys. See if we can get him to wave. Yeah! <laughs> Amber! Amber! Oh, there you are. Hey, babe. It doesn't get old at all. No, it doesn't. We're thankful to be here. It's great. Uh, we, we're excited to be in Florida. We really love Florida, and it's we're not not totally in love with the with the with the park or campground, <laughs> whatever you call it that we're in. But it's gonna work, and we're actually moving to a different spot in a, about uh, a week, just because it's yeah, long story. But <laughs> but but um, but also with this video, we wanted to just give you an update too on just how things are going. Maybe there, you've had some questions. I wonder how they're really doing. I wonder how you know, all the videos look like fun, right? Mm -hmm. um, but maybe just give an update from you on how you think each kid is doing just briefly. <laughs> I think overall Jaden is doing really well now. I think at the beginning of the trip, I think that she had a lot of homesickness and some tears here and there. Um, and then as we started to adventure more and I think as she tasted- The beach. <laughs> the beach, yeah, that was, yeah. That was a huge reason um, that helped helped her along. And then I would also say that as well as she's doing, she does get homesick. She does miss family and she does miss friends. Um, but overall, I think that she thinks what we're doing is pretty rad. The twins, uh, Britton and Hudson, I'd say that um, they're both doing really well as well. Um, they have not loved homeschool and um, that's, have we. <laughs> that's been a huge learning curve for us. Um, but I actually am switching gears and switching some curriculum and I think that that's going to really help us out for this um, next semester. I think that Britton definitely misses her cousins and she naturally is just more of a homebody and so as much as she loves adventure she also just loves home and so I think that yeah. she she can miss home and miss friends and family For too. Sure. Um, I think Hudson, I think he misses grandparents. Uh, but I think he, that he's good for just being along for the adventure. Yeah. As long as we're adventuring and we're we're doing things, and that's not always the case. Sometimes we're just chilling. Sometimes and we're just living. In living. Our, in our beautiful camping spot <laughs> next to some trailers. And... Yeah. I think the kids have just caught in wind of the fact that we would have never had these opportunities if we hadn't done this. And so I think that what they've gotten to experience, the places that we've gone, has made up for missing home and missing friends and missing family. And then Cohen, um, I mean, I'd have to say Cohen is thriving. I mean. <laughs> he's three. He's, he's, he's gonna three. go where we go, right? And But he does great. He just, he's. When we get into the truck and then we're hooked up to the trailer, he's like, we're going to a new camp spot, Dad? Yeah. Um, how are you doing, He's babe? excited. 
Um, I think I'm overall doing well too. I think that I do, I've had more moments of probably like homesickness than Brandon has. Uh, Cause I'm also a homebody and it's not, it's not necessarily like missing like our house or missing like family. It's just that Wait, maybe that, but we miss you. We miss you guys. <laughs> they might hear that wrong. We don't miss yeah, family. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't hear me wrong. Ooh, I just bumped that at the camera again, but don't hear me wrong. I do miss friends and I do miss family. It's the familiarity of being home and, and that includes friends and family and a home and, and dinners and get yeah, togethers. And, yeah. And, yeah. and we're just on the move a lot. And so, um, once you get a little bit comfortable and you know, your surroundings, like, Oh, we're packing up and we're going to the next spot. Um, so that's been a challenge for my personality, but I can't say that, um, that it's like, that I'm like, Oh, I'm ready for this adventure to be done. What about for you? I love it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It just feels normal. I don't know how we just jump right back into real life after this. You know, when you choose to live kind of this alternative lifestyle, it's hard to imagine just going back. Um, you know, just the experiences and the people that we've met and things like that. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what that means, but I know that's what I feel like is it's just hard to imagine jumping right back into, you know, uh, maybe like a typical nine to five type of life. Um, so who knows what the future holds with that. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the, our time with our kids. You know, it, we have our moments, you know, the kids fight this morning was hard. Yeah. Um, we, everybody woke up kind of cranky and you know, you put that all in 350 square feet and it seems like a explosion, but, but it's no different than it was at home. Really. I mean, we had our moments right. at home too. And so we just deal with it. And, um, so yeah, so it's been, it's been good. Yeah. Um, I don't have any regrets, not a single regret for doing this. Yeah, it's I don't either. Awesome. I don't, no regrets. I think when you taste a little bit of adventure, you taste a little bit of what you've dreamt. I think that it just opens your heart to more dreaming. And I think that mm. that's, I mean, there was so much for me, quite a bit of fear wrapped up into doing something like this and we're doing it. And so mm -hmm. it kind of just opens your heart to being able to, and willing to accept like, what's the next challenge. And, and, and when something's hard, it's like, okay, we got this because we've done hard things and we've, we've faced our challenges. We faced our fears. And I think that that's, what's been good for us as adults. And even for our kids to just being able to be flexible, to trust each other, to just, you know what, we're doing it as a family. So we don't know what that's going to look like there. We don't know what our next camp spot is going to look like, but mm -hmm. you know what, it's going to be okay. And I've seen some of that resiliency kind of build on our kids. And I think that that's, that's been awesome to see. Yeah. So thank you for going to work. It's nothing like a sugar mama. Listen, someone, <laughs> someone had to, you know? someone had to, although I'm having fun <laughs> making YouTube videos. This has been a blast. It's kept me very busy. Um, and I, I will tell you it's, it's difficult. The challenge with vi YouTube and the videos and all that is just finding the time and the space to edit. Um, you know, just with, I mean, we've never been with our kids Let's 24 be hours a you're, day. You're not a mom. So the whole idea of like multitasking nope. and I'm sure that there's dads that are great at multitasking, but Brandon is not great no. at multitasking. And that so. includes multi noises around me and stuff. Right. So in, in this, it's pretty impossible to get away from that. So. So I got to be disciplined and, and find those moments when I can. And oftentimes it's when the kids go to bed, but man, we're just, we just enjoy that, that time between eight thirty nine o'clock till about sometimes 1am <laughs> 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 and we stay up uh, kind of late, just laying in bed and sometimes watching TV and just hanging out and just enjoying the quiet. Right. So was that good? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Is there anything we feel like we should have put in there or we didn't? <laughs> Maybe just kiss. <laughs> uh, Do you want to go back in the trailer or just sit here because it's quiet and the kids are in the trailer? I know. <laughs> uh. oh, this really is a beautiful trailer park that we're living in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh.